Hello, beautiful soul. How are you this morning? This afternoon? This evening? This the middle of the night whenever you get to watch this? Happy to have you back. So, I've noticed in my conversations over the last few days with clients, with friends, with students, with peers, as we have passed through the first month of 2021, yup, it's been going fast, <laughs> that there's a certain heaviness, a certain heaviness in the sense of whew, all of this seems to feel rather constricted still from the pandemic going on. We can't wait until it's quote unquote over. We're not sure yet how long it's still going to last. It may still take quite a while. Who knows? And, and we get kind of agitated around it. And we get pretty serious about it. Because the news weigh heavy. And I have no clue what the numbers are right now because I'm very diligent about my abstinence from news. I trust that the right stuff is going to get through to me. And so the question is, how can we alleviate that heaviness? Because it's not great for our feeling state every day. It's not great for our relationships or for our communication or for our creativity. And just finding that beautiful sense of being that we talked about a couple of weeks ago where we said, all right, what do I wish to experience in 2021? What's the place that I want to live from in my heart every single day? How can we get back to that? How can we find some ease, some lightness, some playfulness? And while I would love to suggest that you put at least 30 minutes of playtime onto your calendar each and every single day, I do not know what your exact life circumstances look like and whether that's possible for you at the moment. I would still love to encourage it. What I can definitely suggest is to just listen a bit to the energy that's going on inside and take a break when you need to, instead of pushing through. We get very trained in our lives to push through. And you know whether you're the type that tends to slack off a lot and just live into the day and not ever be concerned about anything. If that's you, it's actually fairly unlikely that you watch a ton of my videos. <laughs> so if you've been following me for a bit, then it's more likely that you are actually fairly driven and that you want to accomplish things in your life and that you follow through on the things that you've put on your agenda. No, not always, not all of the time, because guess what? We're humans. We're not, we're not superhumans. We, we are on our way to being always better than the day before but just in our in our state of being not necessarily by yet another thing that we were able to cross off our to-do list so let's not build our worth on how many things we were able to cross off our to-do list let's build our worth on i am here i am i'm fully alive in this moment let's take a deep breath with that there's something I would really like you to remember. You are worthy because you are. There's nothing else needed. You are a beautiful spirit in a human body. You get to play around here and it's fabulous. It may not always feel fabulous, but it's all different flavors of the human experience. We can trust in that. We can play even when we feel sad. We can play when we feel angry. Maybe we can just be a little more playful. What that looked like for me this morning was when I realized, oh, I have a tense neck for good reasons. I have a tense neck because <laughs> I went climbing on Sunday and of course it was really cold. So I was completely over gripping and therefore I have very tense neck muscles right now. That's okay. So I had a slight headache arising from that and I was sitting in front of my computer staring at the things that I was supposed to do next and, and realized that I was just not there. Took a couple of deep breaths, headache became stronger. All right, time out. I'm out of here. And so 
This brings me to my favorite little refuge park here where I often go for my lunchtime walks. So today it's a very early lunchtime walk and that is perfectly fine. It's beautifully snow covered right now. It has given me the space and the depth to really breathe, to just flow with the thoughts, to just be for a little while and to feel back into what is spirit pulling me to next? Where do I want to go next? Where is my energy flowing easily as opposed to forcing myself to do something that right now just doesn't work? I know, of course, some things will also have to be accomplished at some point that maybe are not my favorite things. But if I'm in a better energetic state myself, then I can be more playful about those as well and not take them so super serious, but just be like, all right, doo -doo -doo. those are things I'm going to do today as well. I'm going to answer 25 more emails and I'm going to try and make it fun for myself as well as the person receiving it. When you look at the emails that you respond to, that you have to respond to, you sometimes take the time to make it a little fun to write a little remark of hey hope you have a beautiful day or here's a really silly joke that I heard two days ago of course do what's true to you what feels authentic to you no need to make anything up I'm just inviting you to be a little more playful around some tasks that sometimes feel like dreadful chores Maybe it's some calculations or spreadsheets or reports that you have to finish. Maybe there is a way to find some lightness in there. Whether that's with good music. I'm not that great with good music. I love music and the lyrics distract me successfully most of the time. So <laughs> for many tasks, I cannot listen to music. Um, but whatever you can do in your day to make it a little more joyful in the little things It'll just elevate your mood so much. I'll tell you one of the ones that I'm probably going to blush about. Um, I love colorful pens. So every once in a while, I get myself a metallic teal pen or um, one of those gel pens or like a glitter pink one. And I just enjoy writing my task lists and whatnot so much more when I use those pens. I also use them for letters um, and it's a silly little thing but it makes me happy and I think that carries through in the tasks that we then carry out. If we can sum up that joy and that little bit of happiness inside of us and be like oh let's amplify that. What are my ways to amplify that? Can I put a little more joy into the things that I'm doing every day anyways, instead of dreaming about a point in the future where I wouldn't have to do those things, or instead about reminiscing about a beautiful past where I didn't have to, can we just fully be in the moment? Can we just appreciate the little things we get to do? Because what that also means, answering 25 more emails and accomplishing these reports and calculations and whatnot, it means that I actually have a job and that I'm grateful for it, that I get to do that, that I do acknowledge the privilege and the best way of acknowledging that privilege is to make use of it in a good way, in a way that then benefits other people. So that maybe is another little pointer. Who am I showing up for today? Maybe I'm showing up for the colleague that's waiting on my results. Maybe I'm showing up for a family member. Maybe I'm showing up for a good friend. And maybe I'm showing up for myself. And let's not underestimate that. That's a worthiness thing as well. Truly showing up for yourself is big. Not just in the, oh, I got to put food in my body to survive way, but to truly show up and say, hmm, let's make a nice little veggie dish for lunch because this is good fuel in my body. I'm going to feel better in the afternoon. And then I'm also going to be more joyful in carrying out the other tasks if I feel good in my body. So whatever that is for you today, whether that's a little walk in the cold or, or in the heat, wherever you are on this planet, <laughs> on this beautiful earth. And 
what is a little thing that you can find within the tasks that you're planning to do today to make them a bit more joyful. Those two things, carry them with you. Both flavors of playfulness. And then if you want to go over the top, third one is throw in 30 minutes of real playtime just for the fun of it. Nothing useful has to come out of it. The only purpose is for you to enjoy yourself. Whether that's reading a good book, playing a game, dancing your butt off in your living room, all the beautiful things in life. Please add on to that list. Leave in the comments below what you take away from this video and what you're choosing to play with today. Playfulness is really valuable. We weren't put here to suffer through this lifetime. We will suffer in the, in the course of it, but it can be a passing experience. We are truly here to experience a lot of joy. And I'm super grateful for every morning that I wake up. I'm allowed to take another deep breath. And I get to play the game again. So much love to you. Have a great rest of your day.